Um, before I move on to my presentation, it's very honored to participate in this YCC and JNU cultural discourse. I want to clarify like some of the things that uh, what I want to do in today's presentation and how the discussion will be in today's presentation. There are two sides of Korean education. First, I want to say about that there are efficient education programs that I just labeled it, but it is very extremely competitive and there is no motivation for the students just given through the education. Hello everyone, myself Abhishek Kumar and my topic is I'm going to give a presentation about contemporary issue of Indian education. India have a very diverse education system and India is very famous for its diversity in education system in the world. India have 34 boards of secondary and senior secondary education and more than 95% of those schools are affiliated to the state boards. It's a big problem in India also the gender issue. Uh, in India, we, women have much lower literacy rate than men. It's a total fact. And how, why? Why the reason is that conservative cultural attitude. So hello, I am Eunice, and today I will be speaking to you guys about the various gender issues in the Korean education curriculum. So although not explicit, textbooks used in the Korean educational curriculum exhibit some kind of gender bias and stereotypes. This usually occurs in three main ways, by defining gender characteristics, fixating gender roles, and spotlighting more males as heroes of the history. Yeah. So I'm going to be talking about the difference between international and Korean schools and what um, the similarities and differences. I divided them into four categories, two in big, um, two different categories. So the one is um, Korean, Korean school, which are like Korean public schools. And then there's special cases that are very well known, but only a limited amount of students gets accepted to those schools. So that's another um, part of um, Korean schools. And then there's two kind of international schools. So this is a picture of a government school where in my area, my hometown. So see, uh, we lack in some of the backward area of our India. We lack in the basic facility. And this is a school where I did schooling from one to 10. It is a private school. See the gap between the private and government school in my side. So when I was researching and asking my um, Indian friends about the problems um, in India with their current education system, I found that we had some commonalities and that we both lack in extracurricular opportunities and not all the resources are equally distributed. Yes, the science stream is, you know, the science as a subject is inculcated from a very, very young age in India. Like, we are supposed to be good at science at least up till 10th grade. Yeah, just to add on, I think um, in that terms of math and science um, aspects, I think Korea and India is very um, similar in those aspects because as a person that w um, was studying in Korean school, I can, when I look at SAT questions, I can also like understand and solve those questions very easily. And I know where you're coming from. I think this is where uh, the similarities between the two countries, uh, I think from here, the prejudice, I don't know if it's a positive or negative prejudice, stems that Asians are good at maths. <laughs> 